this month somebody's going to spiritual jail to some type of purgatory in the spiritual realm your money is looking fantastic the month of january F and the tower oh my god anybody that aries anybody that was like collaborating on defeating you like they're about to be destroyed this month this month some of you may go out on a date, right? And the person may try to kiss you, but instead of trying to kiss you on the lips, they would try to kiss you on the cheek, which uh, I don't like. I don't know how you guys would feel about that. So everybody's definitely moving into like the 4D, right? Because the reads are becoming more and more. Hello, Aries. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your read for January 2024. It is a general read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. Personal reads are in the leech link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Aries. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance. And celestial light. So Aries, what is happening here? We have Neptune, the hangman and the high priestess. Pisces energy. This is Neptune and transit. Then we have Aries on the side. <clears throat> the emperor, the fool and the tower all on the side. Mars getting ready to station direct. Then we have number four on the side. The Emperor on the side here. What do we have at the bottom? Some of you are life path number four. So life path four is the builder, right? That's somebody that builds things that you would see creating different businesses or, or uh, flipping homes. Just somebody that can create very easily. You have here the Eight of Cups at the bottom. <clears throat> King of Wands. I keep getting some throw chakra block here. Oh my. What on earth here? This month, somebody's going to spiritual jail to some type of purgatory in the spiritual realm because they want to restrict you with this Eight of Swords and Justice. Aries, somebody's been trying to restrict you. This message has come up for months. It has come up for months, y'all. But they're about to be put in some type of spiritual purgatory. <clears throat> because King of Wands, but then the Eight of Cups, like they don't want you walking away from them but needless to say it's showing you leaving whoever behind in 2023 like it's showing you leaving that behind and in some way like somebody's karma this month of january is to realize that they missed their chance with you i don't know if you realize that or not but somebody's karma is this month is to realize that they fumbled you Okay, they missed their chance with you, and that's just it. We have the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords. I do see, Aries, you're going to get into... Um, and the Temperance. Yeah, there, there's... This month... I don't know why, like... Everybody's definitely moving into, like, the 4D, right? Because the reads are becoming more and more spiritual based i don't know if you've noticed that as of late the reads are more spiritual in nature like it's not really prediction like what's going on here in the 3d it's more so what's about to occur in the spirit realm in the 4d the 5d the astral realm the other dimensions i keep getting fro chakra attack on your read aries but what i will say is you are definitely honoring and reintegrating into some type of spiritual practice prayer and meditation is here but i'm also seeing yoga i'm seeing a lot of you signing up for a yoga class 
some of you are going to be doing a yoga teacher certification, okay? You're going to be signing up. <clears throat> but I do see here uh, definitely really getting into a healthy spiritual practice. I also see, Aries, that you will have to protect your energy this month because I'm seeing here with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords and the Temperance, this energy of somebody trying to get into your dreams, okay? Somebody trying to use their spiritual abilities to get into your dreams, to communicate with you via your dreams. But it seems to me, yeah, the devil... The devil and death with the five of swords it seems to me like this is not a good thing <clears throat> and notice how i said that the throat is gonna clear up two of swords is here three of cups seven of wands What is this? Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. Can, can you clarify that? The Two of Cups. <clears throat> Hangman. Gosh, Aries. What is up with people? Like, like, there's people here, like the Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. Like, weird people just... This is so sad. The people just preying on your downfall... This is kind of giving me Capricorn vibes. Why are people preying on Aries? Like, this is evil eye. Yeah, the tower. I'm telling you, the tower and the seven of swords. Like, trying to send you evil eye or you're preying on, on your downfall that you, you, you know, you go through some type of hardship, some type of not so great experience. <clears throat> That's why the attack is so bad here. Aries, I feel like this month, you must be tapped into your intuition. You must be aware of who you're interacting with and their true intentions and their true motives. I see here that there's a group of people or energies that it's like they're trying to project this it, these insecurities onto you or they're trying to project some type of anger onto you, some type of, just some type of negative emotion, right? And this isn't yours, this is not for you to claim, okay, it's just not yours, that's their issue, you know, your light irritates people's demons, okay, somebody's brushing their teeth in the other room with an electric toothbrush, so you may hear that in the background, but, like, they don't want you to celebrate, so let's keep going here, if you have been experiencing blocks, this is why there's weird people here in the Seven of Swords and the Tower, trying to send that evil eye so we have the seven of pentacles we have the king of swords here and we have the ten of pentacles very nice aries very very nice and you're gonna have the eight of pentacles with the nine of pentacles there your money is looking fantastic the month of january numerous financial opportunities some of you are getting into the stock market I do see a lot of you in the medical field and also in the education field. And you're going to be very, very busy this month as the new year comes in, okay? January is the dawn of the new year, right? New new year, new motivation, new things, right? And I do see, you know, those of you that own a home, this is like you guys getting your house in order, right? Getting, like, new appliances, sheets, okay? Somebody could be getting a new uh, washer-dryer. Somebody could be getting their... Uh, bathroom remodel like they're showing me this really elegant bathtub on legs it looks like it has the small gold legs small gold feet and a very exaggerated um what do they call that a faucet a very elegant exaggerated gold faucet with gold handles like just this this very much it is very much giving a vibe of this like luxury and comfort maximum comfort but you're going to be raking in the dough some of you are going to become like some type of tiktok content creator like you're going to be posting daily or whatnot 
and they're going to accept you into the TikTok uh, business program and you're going to be able to make money through that. Okay. I also get here a lot of social outings. I do get Aries here that um, some of you may go out on a date, right? And the person may try to kiss you, but instead of trying to kiss you on the lips, they would try to kiss you on the cheek, which uh, I don't like, I don't know how you guys would feel about that. So yeah, there, there could be some of that. Okay, we have the world here. Let me be careful with what I show the high priestess, okay? Yeah, you 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 really need to be on guard when it comes to your intuition and what your emotions are telling you with this five of pentacles and the ten of swords. Be very, very, very wary of people returning into your life because it seems to me, Aries, like people coming into your life at this point, they have some type of agenda. And it would be better for you to just ask them straight up, why are you here? You're here for a reason. What is it? Just tell me. And their response will tell you everything that you need to know. But there is a potential here to collaborate. But at the same time, some of these energies are just, most of them are just not good. With the Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the High Priestess, I do see some type of karmic energy here that is, like, she's really irate. This I feel for a lot of you, this is a woman, but this woman, like the month of January, it's like she's, she's irate. Like this woman really wants to see you defeated, but she is not receiving that. And I feel like she's going to stab her own self in the back. She has sowed the seeds of destruction for her own self. And now she's going to, it, it really feels to me like a third party karmic this month of January, y'all, is going to finally meet their end <clears throat> wheel of fortune at the bottom like somebody's finally getting their karma which has long been overdue ace of wands spirit saying yes with the judgment oh and the sun wow yeah so somebody uh, a karmic is about to be defeated for good and you're about to be in the ace of wands and the sun aries Seems to me you're you're getting everything and more this month. <coughs> oh my goodness. The level of fro chakra attack in this read. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Wait a minute, that card wanted up. Death. Death and the tower. Oh my god. Anybody that Aries, anybody that was, like, collaborating on defeating you, like, they're about to be destroyed this, this month. So they're going to try to send one final attack. And Sparrow says yes with the Ace of Cups. Because they want your Ten of Pentacles. And this is why you must, this month, you must protect yourself with the Nine of Wands. Okay? Do protect your energy. The, the Tower is showing up twice here. <clears throat> You also have judgment there. I definitely, ooh, some of y'all are going to get an offer from a Leo or a Gemini or a Scorpio. There's a Leo, Gemini, or Scorpio here, Aries, that's going to come into your life. But I feel like this individual lives far away. Like the Fool and the Chariot, you would have to, like it would be long distance. Like, you could be on the West Coast, and they could be on the East Coast. That type of energy. This month... So, to summarize, to summarize some key notes here, this month is really good with finances. You will have good luck this month when it comes to money, but... Uh, lots of jealous people. Lots of people that have the spirit of envy, which is really, really sad. Uh, it is, it's sad, honestly. You know, we are all here to shine and shine our light, right? That's that's my saying on my cover photo, but it's like, these people don't want to see you shine, so Spirit's going to handle them. You don't need to worry about that, love. <clears throat> we have round and around, and delays, ooh, Aries. They're, they're, the things were slow. I, I do see that here. 
things were slower. Things felt like they weren't moving, but they're about to be moving. They're about to go from zero to 100. Magnetic, the divine timing. Fragmented, yeah. Yeah, there, there's somebody here. There's, there's somebody here. They want you to wait for them forever. And then there's some type of karmic energy that is really trying to destroy you with black magic. But it, it's, it's really giving these two are about to be destroyed for good. You have good news here. Children, a, a small portion of you are going to hear that a family member is pregnant. So congratulations. The marriage is here, y'all. Y'all, y'all calling in your soulmate. This is the year that you do meet the one, Aries. Okay, you do. They may have kids. You could have kids, right? That's not going to apply to everybody, but this is going to be the year where you meet your person. Okay, and January is setting up the stage, setting up the groundwork for you and this high-level soulmate to cross paths. So overall it's a good month okay it is it's a good month for money you know money honey <laughs> i don't know how else to say it okay your money's about to be looking mighty fine aries i don't know what y'all doing but y'all are gonna manifest that ish okay it's gonna literally be raining from the heavens but like i said a lot of jealous people envy you know they they want to attack the uh, the tower's going to fall on them, tower and death. I really hope that's not implying what I think it's implying. But for some of you, that's going to be the case with this karmic energy. Like, they're going to meet their end. So, you're setting up the groundwork to have the ultimate victory in 2024. And that's just it. And amen to that. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you love and light. Take care.